ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Magic Duels. Kuma here, and if I'm sounding a little quieter, quiet, words are hard. Let me try that one again. If I'm sounding a little quieter, it's because it is midnight at this moment. I had to wait this late to record because my brother refused to go to bed. And trust me, you don't want him screaming in the background playing his games while I'm playing this one. So, let's get back into story mode. I believe last time, we're still with the Eldritch Moon. As you can see, I haven't played any of them. So let's dive right on into this game. The scholar Timio has followed a trail of strange tales, ultimately discovering a ring of twisted stones beneath a churning sky. The ring is fractured in places. Someone, or something huge, has recently passed through here. Behind her, she senses the movements of dark, humanoid shapes rising from the seawaters. Tamiyo, Drownyard Cultist. Or, fighting a Drownyard Cultist. What do we have? That's right, she has a great clue-centric deck. She's got her Timberland guides here. Dungeon Geist, Battlefield Tem, Nibbles of Frost, Slayer's Plate. Good creature dies. If it was a human, I put a 1 1 Spirit Huts armor that makes me a ghost. Spectral Reserves, put 2 1 of them. Um, hmm. It's the only land card I have, so I'm going to have to draw it in hand. Let's see, Plains, hmm. Alright, this isn't. This isn't bad. We'll, we'll keep it. It's got some ramp in it. We're, hmm. We're gonna drop the sound just a little bit. It's a little... Just a tad. Okay. Resume. You doing your thing? You played a swamp? Alrighty. Yeah, let's... I don't have any turn one, so I'll drop the Evolving Wilds. We'll do magic things. Continue. Wait, I'm gonna crack my ability, Hardy Heart. Alright, let's... Let's grab a green. Up a booyah. Now, Hinterland Harbor doesn't have to come into play tapped. Hmm, excuse me, I got the sniffles. Graph Rats, 2 1. Beginning combat on your turn. If you both own and control Graph Rats and a creature named Midnight Scavengers, exile them, then meld them into Chittering Host. Um. Wait, what? Is meld the thing? I don't know. Haste him, what the fuck? I don't know. What's this fusion shit doing in this game? Get this Yu Gi Oh shit out of here. Whatever. Oh, that's right. Meld was in. Uh, I think Meld was this thing set. Yeah, there are three specific pairs of cards that meld. Uh, turning over the back face and combining them into a creature. Melded creature can do everything and not another creature can. When it leaves the battlefield, it returns to being two separate creatures. Don't need the skill quest. I can figure that out on my own. Okay. Uh, Hinter. Hmm. Yeah, Hinterland Harbor, because I still don't have any plays anyway, so it doesn't matter. Let's start looking at the hand, shall we? Borderland Ranger. And so this guy is going to let me look for a basic land, reveal it, and put it in my hand. You're going to hit me for two, that's fine. Double Gas Herald is three. He has Flash, which means I can play it like an instant. It's a flying 2 1. And it or another spirit enters battlefield under my control. Tap target creature to put on controls. Very nice. Planes. And. Let's Borderland Ranger. He enters the field. I can look for a land and put it into my hand. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna grab another. Do I want another green? Okay. Let's grab a green. Green's always good to have. I already got two sources of blue. Should have grabbed another white, maybe. Yeah, it's fine. I'll be okay. What you got? You can attack? No, you're not. Nether horse. So you're a vanilla 4-2. Hmm. Don't like it. We're gonna play 
Slayer's Plate. Start trying to set some stuff up here. If I can get this equipped to that. Uh, we're going to skip attack. If I can get this dude equipped to that. Or that equipped to this dude. And get Neville Gast Herald on the field. That would be cool. Midnight. Uh oh. Yeah, this guy melds with the rats. So Midnight Scavengers. So we got the scavengers. Got a bunch of rats hanging out. And then they are going to fuse it's disgusting haste menace and there's a battlefield other people this was when game insulted that's terrifying yep he's gonna meld them into cherry toast jesus christ okay well this is terrifying oh my god all right uh borderland you're at least gonna do that suppose you've done your work man this is gonna get difficult isn't it what oh confirm block whoops oh no he's got menace can i do do you have menace oh man i have to take 10 damage to the face this is not good this is not good at all and he that thing got aggressive real quick I should have grabbed an island. I am a fool. I deserve this loss. Um, I can do this, I guess. It's gonna get me some life. Um, yeah, attack for two, dude. Because they've got minutes, which means I need at least two creatures to block. So these two spirits are going to have to block one of them. I'm probably going to block her, because that'll kill her. It's a her, right? It's a thing. It's a horror. Oof, Jesus. Okay. Boom. Confirm block. I'm going to take five damage, but it's something at least. What do you have? Abundant Maw. Oh my god, eight? God, I got screwed on my mana, apparently. Sacrifice a creature, paying the cost, and you cast a target point, loses three life, and you gain three life. Oh, so he's gonna sacrifice this dude. Deal three damage. Oh, no. And he's gonna do it again. How? Oh, because he's just sacrificing things. Wow. Okay, well, we've learned. What have we learned? Our opponent sucks. Let's play again. Yeah, 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 I know. Temio finds things, she gets attacked. Come on. Weird hair, darling. What's going on with you? Okay. I need to put on the big boy pants. I need a better hand. I need a more aggressive opening start. Alright, I got three lands. Tattered Haunter. Can only block. Can block only creatures with flying. Got a bunch of three jumps. I got a journey to nowhere. Which could, you know what? We're going to keep the hand. Okay. Swamp. My turn. Uh, we are going to Evolving Wilds. Might as well crack it now for a Plains. Do I want a Plains? Yes, I want. That's going to end my turn. Now to her. Yeah, it's her, I think. Pretty sure. Hmm. What you got? Field Creeper. A vanilla 2-1. As it walks across the fallow field, its awkward loping gait matches the rattling in its head to create a haunting rhythm to chill that chills the bones. That's weird. I've never seen that card. Just a freaky scarecrow. Okay, and Tattered Haunter. What are you? You're a 2-1. Two, 2-1 one. Two, one flying. And you can only block creatures with flying, so... He means nothing to me. Okay, what you got? Coming at me with two. There's nothing I can do about it. Ouch. 
That's fine. Just a little bit of damage. Hinterland Harbor for three. Now what do I want to start doing? I don't have anything with spirits just yet. So let's Borderland Ranger. I've learned my lesson. Let's grab an island. Put that into my hand. Confirm. There's no point in not having him attacks to get block anyway. He does have the lead on me though. He's going to be dealing his damage first. She. I think it's a she. Pretty sure that's a she. Don't know for sure though. Another Tattered Haunter. Let's drop another island. I have three sources of blue now. Uh, I don't want to do another Timberland guide. Or, wait, no, not another one. This, and there's a battlefield. Put a plus one, plus one on target creature. Oh, you know what? Let's. Let's put that on him since he's attacking. I don't want another. Hmm. I mean, I might as well. We're swinging five damage a turn that he can't block. I'll leave him open and force him to attack into me for a block. However, the computer's usually pretty smart. He might not attack now. I have a pretty nice defense. He knows he's going to lose the creature. You're going to attack. Very interesting. Um, you've already done your thing, so you're useless to me. There you go. What you got? Uh, okay, it's one half of his meld combo. Gonna bring it back. Goes back to his hand. Okay, that's fine. What do we have? Sanctifier of Souls. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield, uh, he gets plus one. Sanctifier of Souls gets plus one, plus one on the turn. Exile creature card from your grave and put a one one spirit token flying onto the battlefield. Interesting. Um. Vista. We're going to bring him out because he's going to give me some fun. Alright, uh, you two are going to attack. Confirm. And we're going to start beating hard. He can only take this three times. So he needs to do something. So what you got? What you got, buddy? What are you going to throw me? you got quite a bit of mana over there. There's his rats. Whew, okay. This is where it gets... Actually, no, it's going to be fine. Probably going to take some damage to the face right now. Yep. Not going to block. I'm going to skip blocking. Because <clears throat> I... am going to send your dude on a trip. What you got? Field creeper. It's fine. I ain't scared of no creeper. Hey, uh, prairie stream. Journey to nowhere. On your 5 6. John Yard Behemoth Flash Emerge. Has hexproof as long as it enters the battlefield this turn. Is it my card fizzle or something? Yeah. So the card just exists on the field now, not doing anything. Interesting. Uh, you. Exile creature card from your grave and put a 1 1 spirit on the battlefield. This guy. Whenever him or another spirit enters the battlefield, tap target creature put on controls. Okay. Um, so I'm going to have to. I'll get creative. Need to keep three mana open because he has flash, which means I can play him as an instant. Uh, you two are going to attack for five. Confirm. I want to take a look at this. Drown Yard Behemoth. It casts a time. Emerge for eight. 
You may cast a spell by sacrificing a creature and paying the emerge cost reduced by that creature's CMC. Hmm. Oh, it has hexproof, doesn't it? Shit, it does have hexproof. Which means I can't target it with abilities. I can only block. So, there's no point in not playing this right now. Creature to tap. I mean, I well, hit the two one. I can't hit your five seven. Actually, I might have made a mistake. We'll see. Did I? I did just make a mistake. I hex proof was gonna fall off. Fuck. Certain death. Destroy target creature. Its controller loses two life and you gain two life. All right, what are you destroying? My two three. No. Oh, I needed that. All right. Well, you're gonna hit me for a seven. Okay. Um. I'm going to throw him in your way and him in yours. Confirm. This isn't great, especially since now I'm down to lands. Attack with everything. Confirm. Well, now we're in a race. The one that I really hope I win. Punch me for seven, the, I know. Or five, excuse me. Punch me for five. Do you have any tricks? No? No? All right. Oh, look at that sleep spell, though. Continue. Attack with all, confirm. And I win. And... Oh, good smack. Yeah, I broke your face. Tamiya wins. Hooray. Ten tokens for me. Continue. The light of Timio's lantern reveals the fallen forms of the Drownyard cultists. Their distorted faces are nothing more than swarms of tentacles, their limbs warped and distended. What force has wrought these grotesque changes? Looking up, the pale moonlight illuminates the distant, hulking silhouette of the Eldrazi titan Emrakul as she drifts over Innistrad. Spooky. How much time do we have? We'll do one more. The necromancer Liliana Veth seethes as intruders shatter the placid calm of her manor. The invading werewolves should know better than to dare fight their way onto the powerful mage's premises. But these werewolves are different, unnaturally reckless, stronger, and hideously deformed. Liliana quietly promises swift vengeance upon the whatever has brought them here. Upon the whatever, I think that's what I said. Upon the whatever. Also, yes, you are somewhat malformed, sir. You seem to have a bad case of purple face. Okay, one, we have one, two, three black mana. We have a turn two. Actually, not really, because that requires something being dead. A five, a four, and a three. We're going to draw hand. I have two mana now. we we'll start with a creature. Two creature options. Okay. All right, uh, we'll keep that hand. And I will play a swamp. And that will end my turn. So let's see kind of what kind of a deck. I'm guessing black green. Red green. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I guess werewolves. Werewolves are red green. Um uh, so, uh, let's start getting myself some fuel, shall we? What do we get? We got that and a diagraph colossus. That could have been useful, but it's fine. I'm sure I'll have ways of getting it back. I should probably look at what I have. Newscraft mob enters the battlefield. Five plus plus one counters not. What the hell are you playing? Ulvenwald captive. What do you transform into? Ulvenwald abomination. Huh. So you become a 4 6 that taps for two mana. Interesting. Let's see a little 1 2 game. Play another one. Some rancid rats. Why not? Hmm. Uh, no really point in attacking, so we'll skip. I hear a loud noise here. Hopefully that wasn't loud. Just 
leaning off of my uh, my keyboard tray. What you got? What you got? Tangle will yeah, blah, Tangle Claw Werewolf. Another one. You can block an additional creature each combat. You can transform him for seven. Holy shit. What does he transform into? A fibrous and oh my god. Uh, gee, what, sir? You seem to have a mouth on your tongue. Or is that a mouth on your shoulder? I can't tell. Uh, he must be blocked if able and can block an additional creature each combat. And he has a vigilance, so he doesn't tap when he attacks. Marvelous. Wow, this guy's deck is just getting crazy fun to deal with, isn't it? Swamp. Never another creature you control dies, put a plus one plus one counter on Gabney on Hollowed. Hmm. You know what? I didn't look at what else I had. Uh, core Revival, destroy target non zombie creature, can't be regenerated, return up to one target zombie card from your graveyard to your hand. Uh, core Revival, that's the same thing. New Scraft Mob. Enters a battlefield with five plus one plus ones on it. Whenever a player casts a spell, remove a plus one plus one and counter it. If you do, put a zombie under the hill. Wow. Uh, Gabney, you're coming up. Uh, that thing I had, that's a zombie, right? It's a zombie giant. Good. You can't be bought by creatures with greater power, so I can just swing with you, no problem. And you have death touch, so even if something stronger than you does block, you're going to kill it. Uh, you're a 1 3, so. Confirm. Come on, block with something. Alright. So nothing's going to happen there. I dealt one damage to you. Suck it. Probably should have kept him open to block. I knew probably, yeah, that was dumb of me. That was a tactical error, I believe they call that. Vilden Pack Outcast. Another Transformer. Can't, fuck, man. My turns were not received with the setting of the moon. Yeah, no shit. Plus, so you can pump him for mana. As much mana as you want. Oh boy. I seriously need some destruction effects soon. What is this? Haunted Dead. Enters the battlefield, but a 1 1 white spirit creature token flying on the battlefield. Discard two cards, return Haunted Dead from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. Hmm. Alright, I'm down. I'll keep playing cards. Are you a spirit or a zombie? You're a zombie. I got a spirit. I got a spirit. I got a spirit. Hey, 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 hey. If I attack with this, will he use the 4-4? Four, four? Let's see, confirm. Come on. Yes! You idiot. And now I get a plus one plus one. I'm gonna block you with a spirit. Punch a ghost. What you got? Otherworldly oh, outburst. Dark creature gets plus one plus zero to end a turn. When that creature dies, turn put a three two old drowsy horror on the battlefield. Okay. So you're giving me the plus plus one. Oh, so I'm gonna die, and he's gonna get a horror. Do you have trample? You do. Fuck. And you pumped yourself, you whore. And he gets off. Man, look at this guy. This computer, though. All right. Hmm. Might as well. I don't have anything else to play. Hmm. You're going to attack because they can't block you. Uh, that guy could block. I have death touch, though, so if he does. I'm just gonna kill it. Nothing. All right. Slowly chipping away. I'm. The reason I didn't attack and I'm not getting aggressive. I'm hoping he attacks into me and I can try and throw blockers in his way. And he's not. He's smarter than that. He knows it'd be a poor decision. Some more rancid rats. I'll take them. I really need some more swamps. I have a one, two, three, four. I need one more and I'll have a kill spell. Two more and I'll have this, which will help me start doing some, uh, some sweet counter moves. Um, confirm and keep chipping. At least now that's leaving us out. 
Come on, deal the damage. There we go. I should have had some water with me. My throat's starting to get a little dry. <laughs> oh, you had the mana to do that? Okay, that's fine. So if it's a 4 6, each you can tap for mana. Whew, this is getting nasty. Alright, what you got? Um, can. You have Death Touch, right? We're gonna try that. Confirm block. What? What are you doing? Transforming him. Okay. Pumping it. I kill you. But he still tramples, so I still take damage, which sucks. What's going on over here? Fibrous Tangler has to be blocked, fabled, and can block condition creature. To dead and his breath. Oh, this is the one that gets me a spirit. You do a thing when you die, right? I can discard two cards, return. Yeah. Giggle at the ghosty. Confirm. Does he have any other tramplers? I don't think he does. I think I killed his trampler. Yeah, he does have vigilance, though. All right, what you got? Show me what you got. Skipping his attacks again. Timberback Wolf gets plus one plus one for each other creature you controlled named Timberback Wolf. Alright. So what you're just gonna stack the board with Timberback Wolves? Yeah, no? Alright. Uh what's this? Graph Harvest. Zombies you control have menace. Exile creature card from your graveyard and put a two two mm. So my zombies have menace, so they can't be blocked except by two more creatures. And I can exile a card from my a creature card from my grave, so I can remove it from the game and put a 2 2 zombie on the battlefield. Hmm. Okay. Um, I want to keep you open. You. Five, six, seven, ten, twelve, fourteen. I could attack with everything. No, I've got to be careful. Got to be careful. Confirm attack. Because if I just go full hog and leave myself wide open to attack, he's got eight, eleven, twelve, thirteen. He's got more than enough to kill me. So yeah, I would not. I would not make that trade. Gonna skip again. Let's play Deranged Whelp. It's got Menace. He's a 2 1. Rawr. What you got? Fleshback Marauder. Each player sacks a creature. I'll play that. What am I sacking? Um. Second one of these. These guys should both get buffed. Yep. One. Confirm. This has got to be extremely boring, and I apologize for that, but I am really trying to win. I don't fancy playing this guy again. Another Ovenwald captive. Back to my opponent. He's just going to end his turn. Wow. Another Fleshback Marauder. Okay. We know how this song and dance works. My guys keep getting stronger. Do I dare now? Fuck it. 
see what you can do. You're pumping, right? You're, okay, you're flipping. This could be bad. Oh no. Yep, I just fucked myself. I just royally fucked myself. Yep, here it comes. Shit. Well, I that's my hubris. Curse my hubris, as Vegeta would say. Uh, but you know what guys I think we're going to try this again next time in the next video next week So thank you everyone so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe to this video If you enjoyed leave a comment down below telling me how much you like it you hate it enjoy it keep going um, Don't forget to check out all of our content over at thegrandgeekgathering.com We do all kinds of different stuff there articles videos other pop podcasts. It's awesome. Go check it out And until next time gamers stay cultured